The interventions one may undertake vary on the context of engagement. At Privacy International, a distinction we have developed has been to differentiate between rights holders and duty bearers. Rights holders are individuals or social groups that have particular entitlements in relation to specific duty bearers. These actors are not only the beneficiaries, but they are also active agents in the realization of human rights. These include individuals, human rights NGOs, community representatives, and journalists. Interventions could include capacity building, forming alliances, raising public awareness, and media engagement. The objectives of interventions targeting rights holders are to one, increase understanding and opportunities for change, two, spur interest in individual and collective action targeting duty bearers, and three, identify unintended consequences or intended unfairness. Within the scope of data-intensive systems, new opportunities for engagement can arise. These are being deployed across disciplines and should thus encourage new actors to engage in this field. For example, the discriminatory nature of financial systems could open up the opportunity to engage with groups that work with marginalized communities to ensure they use a privacy lens in their work. Duty bearers are those actors who have a particular obligation or responsibility to respect and promote human rights. Traditionally, this term was associated with state entities, but as demonstrated in this course, changes in discourse and power dynamics now mean that there are other actors within this grouping. These include the private sector, regulatory bodies, donors, and international and national human rights bodies. Interventions could include capacity building, the development of principles and standards, the development of evidence through research and investigation, and legal analysis. The objective of interventions targeting duty bearers is to present a problem analysis and a solution in the form of recommendations or principles. This informs them as they engage in processes to ensure that resulting policies and practices protect fundamental rights. An intervention could be working with humanitarian organizations to raise awareness of the right to privacy of their beneficiaries.